this was really a good project of a, of a marriage between a cardiovascular scientist, myself, and a neuroscientist, uh, Marco Prado, where we tried to understand the role of the sympathetic and a parasympathetic nervous system in the regulation of the heart. And a parasympathetic and a sympathetic nervous system are kind of like the accelerator and a brake, where the sympathetic nervous system increases the heart rate and the parasympathetic decreases the heart rate. And that dysregulation or that misregulation uh, occurs in heart failure. And we've understood that and we've published previously on that. Really what we tried to do in this paper is try to get a better understanding of which cells within the heart are involved the heart is innervated by the nervous system, but it's actually, in some regions, very sparsely innervated. So there's a very few nerves that actually can control the heart because there are just very few of them. So we try to understand this. How does that signal then from a nerve make it actually anywhere else in the heart? And it turns out that we talk often about a neuronal cholinergic system, which is nerve-based. And now we're talking about a non-neuronal, which just means it's not in any nerve tissue, but it's actually found in heart cells itself. So what we did is we had mice with these radio telemeters implanted, and we actually put them on a treadmill, a mouse treadmill, and actually made them exercise. Very brief exercise, only about five minutes worth of exercise. But what the fascinating thing was that we saw there was that the heart rate went up and went actually much higher in the, in the mutant mice where we had knocked out this acetylcholine transporter. When they went up this heart rate, they were twice as high as the control mice and it took almost an hour for that heart rate to come back down. So clearly showing you that there is a dysfunction in the ability of the heart to be regulated normally. What we're now showing is that that acetylcholine can actually be generated in many different cells, including heart cells. And if you change that system in the heart cells themselves, but in this case we've reduced it or knocked it out, you actually have a pathology that will develop. So telling you that that system is absolutely incredi incredibly important under baseline conditions or control conditions, and when you change that balance, whatever that balance may be, so in the heart it's between the sympathetic and the parasympathetic, that eventually that will cause disease.